Hey guys, welcome back to Sonic Academy in Nature from Protoculture and we have another series of tech tips for you guys. Uh, this series we're going to be delving into Kick 2 and Anna 2 and I'm going to be taking a look at a bunch of sound design tips and tricks, a few little hacks and things that you can do with both of these instruments from Sonic Academy. To kick things off we're going to be taking a look at Anna 2 and I'm going to show you how you can do sort of fake granular effect inside of Anna 2. Now Anna 2 obviously doesn't support granular oscillators but we're going to take a look at a really cool little workaround uh, so let's dive in and check this out. Right, so I've got an instance of Anna opened up and I've chosen a preset from just the uh, factory preset. It's called Angel Harp and just take a listen to what it sounds like. Right, so we're going to be uh, creating a granular effect and it will essentially is granular. Um, so granular oscillators essentially are just a section that is looped and then the start points of those loops um, sort of move through a selection of audio. Uh, the only difference here being is that we cannot generate more than one or uh, one loop at a time. Uh, technically you could do three but you have less control of it then. Um, but you get a very similar effect uh, to a, a granular sound. It's kind of like a faux granular that we're going to be doing here. Um, so we're just going to take our sound first. Very first thing we're going to do is we are going to resample this. So this is another cool trick that you can do. Uh, with Anna in other uh, sound design examples as well where you can take what the output of Anna is and actually record that and bring that back into a sample oscillator inside of the synth. So I'm just recording a C, uh, C3 right here, we're just going to bounce that down. Uh, what I'm going to do here is just normalize this waveform just so we have the peak level at zero or let's just do negative zero point three for example just to kind of keep it just underneath there uh, that looks good to me we want to bounce this again just to bake that normalization process into this and I'm going to bring up my pool window now uh, for some reason I can't drag directly from Cubase it's a little glitch in Cubase and Anna but we're just going to find this file in Explorer and I'm going to just drag this into one of the sample oscillators We'll ask you where you want to import it to. We'll just click OK. So now we have the output at C3 of this patch that we are playing. Let's come back here again. So we're essentially doubling the sound up now. So now we can play around with a few different things. Uh, for example, let's just bring this up slightly. Uh, let's say if we wanted to reverse this. Kind of hear the, the reverse um, kicking in there, but it's kind of the same sound as what we've currently got. What I'm going to do now to get this kind of granular effect I want is to raise an octave up. It's essentially going to speed up the uh, waveform as well. You can really kind of hear it kicking in there. So the granular, we want to kind of just get a small little snippet. So we're going to set the loop start. Okay, we've got our little segments there now. And we want to kind of get this to move around like a uh, granular synth or like a granular oscillator would. Uh, and to do that, I'm just going to assign some modulation to our loop start and endpoints. So we're just going to go with LFO1. And we'll do LFO1 for this too. And we're just going to bring the rate right down on LFO1. Let's bring these back again. Uh, so we're just going to send these. End point, start point we can bring back, and the start we can bring back to here. Let's take a listen to this now. Turn this into like a pad sound now as well. 
Signals and death sound now. Yeah, that really nice shimmer effect that we're getting now. And just to see what happens, we can bring these down as well. It'll totally change the texture of the sound now if you raise that all the way down. interesting little sound design trick that you can try out uh, and like I said you don't have to just do the granular thing that I've done here uh, you could just record an entire patch down to C3 bring that in and then completely change the sound up so that you've got a sort of saved version of the original sound being stacked on top of other sounds just by doing this resampling trick in the sample oscillator right so let's move on to the next video I'll catch you guys then cheers Thanks everyone for watching, we really appreciate all the support from you guys. If you love this video then smash a like and if you want to be notified about new videos hit the subscribe and notification buttons. PEACE!